Hey everybody, I just wanted to quickly explain this Facebook pixel hack and how it works so that you understand how it works because this can save you um, some uh, some pretty good money on your retargeting campaigns because you'll only be retargeting people who actually stay on your page so you won't be retargeting people who have misclicked your page or, or are not really interested in your offers. Uh, so what happens here is if you notice here, this is your, and I'm just giving the, a generic example, but this is your normal um, your normal pixel and this is what your pixel normally would look like you'd have your your apple app pixel id with this the, the, the stars are here and this is what your pixel would normally look like so what you do is you change your um, pixel so that you have the script line here on your pixel you see the script line up here where it says script and then function what you're going to do is you're going to put in the uh, you're going to put in this piece of code here where it says set timeout and then you're going to wrap a, a, the function around here and then that's going to open it up to be able to for your pixel. So it's going to look exactly like this. So you're going to set a set time up, and then it's going to be function. That you're going to wrap your pixel around that code, and then you're going to end it up here. And this has a pause for 30 seconds, which I think is too much. So I would change this to either anywhere from three to six seconds. So six seconds here is going to be. 6,000 is 6 seconds, 9,000 is 9 seconds. So you want to kind of play with this in order to see how, uh, see what's going to work best for you as far as landing times. I wouldn't think that somebody's going to stay on your page for longer than, you know, 6 seconds on your, on your page if they made a mistake and clicking on it. But this should actually help you only, help you with your retargeting. So I hope this example, um, helps you and, and possibly Kat can maybe have some training on it herself but hopefully this shows you as far as the differences on, uh, on implementing this um, uh, this will actually show you the differences on how to implement this pixel hack because this is your normal pixel up here and this is what your pixel looks like after you've implemented the hack so you have actually put the hack in place after the script line and then set timeout function and then exactly like it is here and then here's your, and then you set the timeout function just like it says here as far as the syntax goes and then this is your and then there's, a, there's this function line here so this is your normal pixel code right here so as you can see from function to function from here to here this is your normal pixel code that's here so we're wrapping this function around your pixel code so that there's a timeout to help you save money um, if you have any questions about this, I'll try and answer it. Maybe we can, I can collaborate with Kat so we can get this out and make this part of the standard training for the Facebook ads that convert because this is a pretty good hack. Um, I said it'll help you, help you save some money on your retargeting campaigns. Um, I'm here to help and help, help here to serve and I, help you, I want to help you, see you all be successful because uh, we all deserve to have a life of our dreams and our passions.